you're this perp back with another video and man this series just keeps getting better and better this is definitely this definitely felt like some season finale if this was the season finale i'd be like wow what a fucking cliffhanger um for all my episode reviews of the promised neverland check that out in the link in the description below but let's get right into this video um also i will be having a us movie review later on tonight be on the lookout for that be out on the lookout for that but with that all being said let's get right into this um episode 11 named 14 Oh one forty six, and the funny thing about these uh, these uh, titles is, I just literally found this out that these are dates, so that's really interesting. I literally figured that out like last week after I uploaded my uh, episode ten review. Just a little fun fact. Uh, I don't know if anybody else realized that, or you know, I don't know. I don't know why I couldn't put that those two things together, but you know it's completely random but starting off from last uh episode you know we had emma looking depressed uh everybody felt kind of defeated um and then ray goes to ask emma yo you haven't given up right and and, and she's like no I, i'll never give up i'll never stop fighting and i love this episode man this shit was so fucking lit insane so ray has this plan um but he 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 brings up two issues one being that uh we have to distract uh isabella mother mom or whatever we gotta uh we gotta pretty much trick her and then he pretty much comes uh, comes up with the idea to just pretty much torch the place i'm like yo ray has really lost his fucking mind um i don't know how that's gonna really work out uh and he also says yo uh, i i want to run away now and not tomorrow because he's getting shipped out on his birthday which is the following day um which is it's pretty insane i'm like yo like y'all really ready for this like to leave right now and yo ray completely loses his shit in this moment bro i'm like yo he's really willing to just sacrifice himself and say fuck it y'all just get the fuck out of here uh this is going to be a distraction for mom or isabella whatever you want to call her um i just i love this scene bro like because it just it, it's so out of ray's element a little bit and it's just He's kind of lost his fucking mind, and it's kind of his way of kind of giving up. And I'll get into that a little bit later into this video. Um, and the animation in this art is just so fucking clean, man. Movie quality animation, awesome. So we get to Isabella, and she's just chilling all nonchalant. But this is the first time she we see Isabella out of pocket she wakes uh she runs downstairs because she hears emma screaming ray 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 and she sees that the whole dining room is on fire and she don't really give a fuck about none of this shit like she doesn't care about ray she cares about his brain preserving his brain and lo and behold Isabella gets played and I'm like yo this is insane because she turns around and sees Emma just completely gone and she tries to look at the tracking device and realizes they have escaped they ended up cutting off their ears like Ray and Emma end up cutting off their ears that is crazy that is if that's not dedication I don't know what the fuck is and come to find out they've been planning this for like two months two months they've been already planning this like emma this was emma's little side plan because um we find out that uh she got she got a message from norman you know 
I don't know if she thinks Norm, I don't know if she thinks Norman's still dead, but Norman even knew that this is what Ray this is what Ray wanted to do is burn down the house with him in it. And he goes through this whole explanation that was really fucking dope, man. Like Norman is so ahead of the curve, man. Norman and Isabella are always so ahead of the curve. It's it's so crazy, dog. And then you know, they get this this whole idea like it's crazy how they had all the kids involved already for the last two months and her being depressed and looking down was all just a game it was all just to play Isabella right into their trap and I also like how they introduce new characters that are going to be set up for uh season two um great way to set those up in the last uh the second to last episode you know i i'm pretty sure they're gonna play a huge part in the season two and we get this little f in, in this scene i really thought this was actually norman right here but obviously it's not because some time went away and time went by so all the kids are ready to escape everybody's ready to go but we already know it's can't be that easy um they still need to figure out a way to get over the wall and back at the ha orphanage, Isabella is completely lost her shit, but she is going to try to keep her compo somewhat cut her composure. One of the kids got left behind. I forget his name, draw a blank. But overall, this episode was amazing. The way they just turned the tides on Isabella like that, and yo, and how out of her element she is now. I'm just really wondering what the fuck they're going to do for this last episode. If this is the last episode for the season, man, what a ride this has been. This whole entire series has been amazing. I am blown away. This I, I just can't wait for next week, man. But that's going to do it for my review. I hope I touched on almost everything. I probably missed anything. But what do you guys think about in the comments below? Let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new to this channel. And be on the lookout for my Us review later on tonight. And I'll check y'all out later. Peace. I want when they see me, they know that every day when I'm breathing, it's, it's, it's for us to go farther. I gotta be more than just the average man would do. I gotta set a mark that it can't nobody um touch. The place that I won't go when I feel as though I, if you got love and you putting out real shit, you can do that. If you kicking that shit from your heart, you can go wherever your heart wants you to go. You have to be diligent about what you want. You have to apply yourself. You have to motivate yourself. And you have to do it for yourself, by yourself. And then you can do things for other people.